this goes back to the Bikisa process where um, we realize that if we are going to modernize South African mining, mechanize and upgrade, we need to build the supply chain here. Otherwise we'd be losing jobs on our mines and the gains would be made offshore through imported capital goods and machinery. So it was very important for us to start preparing our own manufacturing industry of mining equipment and machinery to rise to the challenge. In no way am I saying that they weren't nearly there or weren't producing equipment that was cost effective. But this just makes us more cost effective. We competing with the world out there, companies from Europe, from North America, from China, from India, from Brazil, um, and we have to have the edge. I want to, to commend MEMSA for deciding to, to uh, embark on this training process. It's a eight week uh, process that we embarked on, uh, we, which uh, consisted of four modules that we covered in the, in the eight weeks. Uh, we did one week practical on one of the, uh, the, the principles and then one week uh, on, uh, on the job basically training, um, showing and applying the, the principles that were taught. Uh, so in all uh, eight weeks we did uh, the seven wastes, which is uh, one of the things that opened the students' eyes in terms of waste that are busy happening in their companies so that they can look out for it and actually start uh, eliminating waste because to, to run a, a competitive business you, you actually have to eliminate waste. It lowers the cost and it improves the products that you produce. We did 5S. The 5S program is an is, is a underlying principle of good quality and um, it's the underlying principle of all the other uh, lean manufacturing principles that we teach the, and it gives them a framework within which to implement it. Then we did uh, some problem solving techniques where they did root cause analysis, they were trained to do root cause analysis and today we're actually covering total quality management. The, the students were, were trained to actually go and train their teams back at work and, um, and myself acting as trainer and mentor when we go back to the companies to make sure that they apply it in their situation. Because the companies all use different processes and different manufacturing techniques and philosophies uh, to make it uh, palatable so that they can actually apply it and get the benefit of the training in their businesses.